everyone. Welcome to Tell Me Why, the program for American Airlines team members that looks at the why behind the news, information, all that is happening at the airline. My name is Ron DeFeo. I work in the Global Engagement Group here. And two special guests, first-time guests from the commercial organization, Kim Sizek, VP Customer Experience, Carolina True Love, VP Reservations and Service Recovery. Welcome to the both of you. Thank you. Thank you. We're happy to be here. It's, it's, it's a great day and a lot to talk about. We've been talking a lot, of course, about our super goals, right? Reliability, profitability, accountability. And then you look at the focuses, focus areas for the year that kind of ladder up to that. Delivering for our customers is a big deal. Yeah. Couldn't imagine having two better guests on to talk about that. But before we dive in, we're talking a lot about the customer journey. But your journeys, first time on, tell the audience a little bit just about yourself, where you've been. We'll start with you. Yeah, it's great. So as Ron mentioned, Kim Sizek, I lead our customer experience organization. And I've actually been with the company almost 20 years. And I've had the opportunity to be in all different types of roles that support our customers, which is why I'm so passionate about being here to talk about their journey. Thanks for having us. Yes, absolutely. Caroline, true love. Uh, my journey has been in the industry for over 25 years, and I'm excited to be with American Airlines for the last nine months. That's awesome. Well, we are right in the thick of it, summer travel, and talk a lot about the customer journey here. But what are the latest for our customers and our team members, right? As, as, as our customers travel around the system, they interact with us, they're doing that differently. Yeah. Talk a little bit about what is going on and why that's so important. Well, we are excited to be here to talk about how we're focused on delivering a consistent, a convenient, and a connected experience that'll happen across all of the touch points along the customer journey. So when you think about that, that can be anywhere from booking and managing travel to arriving at the airport to being on board our aircraft. And our customers are changing, and so their needs are changing, and we need to be focused on investing in those areas that truly drive customer choice. And as they're engaging with us more, um, booking direct, joining our Advantage program, and I don't have my phone with me, but I would hold it up and say, <laughs> downloading right. our American Airlines mobile app, uh, it's more important than ever that we're not only improving the experience, but we're also looking for ways to digitalize that experience. Because that allows us to really get to know our customers. That allows us to connect with them and then ultimately serve them better. Yeah. Exactly. And digital allows us to really deliver that consistent experience that we strive to give our customers at each touch point. No, that's very cool. And you, you're starting to go down this path, but are there yeah. some granular examples kind of along that, that journey you want to talk about? Sure, so as I mentioned, consistent, convenient, and connected. That's right. And so when you think about something being convenient, uh, it goes beyond just digitally enabling all aspects of our travel journey, but really simplifying uh, the complexities that we have out there when it comes to our policies, when it comes to our products. Sure. Uh, you may not know this, but at one point we had six or seven different types of travel credits oh, wow. that customers could use to book themselves or rebook themselves on American Airlines. Uh, that can be really confusing, not just to our customers, but to our team members. Absolutely. So we're on a path to get to one. That's and great. we're well on our way. So we've seen about a 90 to 95% reduction in paper vouchers. Uh, yes, we still have paper vouchers, uh, but we're on our way to get to zero by the end of the year. And that's both for domestic and international. And our last e-voucher, we still had e-vouchers e out there, they expired uh, this year. And then when we think about customers kind of being prepared or ready to travel when they get to the airport, it really starts with making sure that they're prepared before they even arrive. Um, and that starts with smart communications. Let's set those expectations on what their travel journey will look like. Yeah. Uh, downloading the mobile app so that they're checked in, that they have a seat, that they've prepaid for their bags, so that when they come to the airport, they have that seamless experience. And those customers traveling through DFW get to experience our brand new kiosks. Yep. And then domestic wide, we just launched the new software. So that new software means speeding up the transaction time for our customers that's significantly. Great. Oh, that's great. Um, and just reducing crowding, making it a better experience. Oh, that's awesome. I think the other part of that that we're really excited about when you talk about consistency is our messaging. So the app is your one-stop shop for all of your messaging, but it's even bigger than that. You know, we are excited about having consistency in the messaging that we give our customers each step of 
of the way so that you know exactly what's going on with your travel journey, whether it's from the email where we're letting you know that you have your flight confirmed yeah. to any of the activities because you've downloaded the app that you can see along your journey. Uh, that's very cool. Sure. So, Carolina, a question for you. We know there are also times though customers might need a little extra help, extra assistance, a little more insight. What do we do in there, and you know, why is that evolving? This is another really exciting um, element that we've added for our customers that really make their journey convenient. One of the things that we do is, in addition to our digital tools that we're offering you that you can use through the app, if you have the app, we actually have enhanced our chat functionality. Mm -hmm. So what that means is that you have the app, see my pretend phone, <laughs> and uh, on the app, you can actually move down and start chatting with us directly from the app. And once you've done that, it's just always there. You're always connected with our chat tools. And in the event that our chat tools don't answer exactly what you need, then the next step is you have our chat travel professionals on the other end of the chat line helping you that's great. conveniently. No, that's very cool. And of course, a lot of work to get to this point, but there's more, more down the line. It's a, it's a, it's a journey. So t tell everyone out there just a little bit more, what's, what's next? What do you think we're going to be expecting down the line? Well, um, we're talking about our digital tools and our digital attorney. Um, what's really exciting about this is that the tools that we're developing for our customers, we also plan on ensuring that those tools are available for our travel professionals that are helping our customers along the journey for those most challenging things. So think about it. The customer can do things like exchange their ticket, they can cancel their ticket. Um, they can look to see when the flight is coming in through the app. They can do all of those things, but those are the easiest things. There are often times when our travelers have extreme challenges along their journey. The digital tool set will also be available for our travel professionals in our contact centers with a little bit more features so that we can take care of our customers along their journeys. In addition to that, we're giving our um, travel professionals additional tools that they can use that are simplified to Kim's point. When we simplify for the customer, we also want to simplify for our travel professionals so that they can deliver the most efficient responses to meet our travelers' needs when the traveler does have to contact a contact center. Oh, that's awesome. Kim, anything to add? Sure, and you know, as CT mentioned, as we're building out these digital channels and the teams are super excited about it, we'll be able to then build those out for our team members so we'll have that consistent experience. And we're also actually investing in our hard products. Uh, so you may have seen the announcement earlier this week around our Admirals Club food and beverage offerings being improved. So we can't wait to roll those out, as well as the new design and brand standards in our lounges at Washington, D.C. Reagan. We'll see Newark opening and Denver opening later this year. Um, and that consistency will carry on to our new aircraft deliveries as well. So you'll see similar color palettes, similar wood mm. finishing, branded elements. That's great. So that customers who are in our lounges and are flying on our planes are having that same experience. So it's a product our both our team members and our customers will be really proud of. That is it's phenomenal. Great information. CT Kim, thanks for being here. Thank There's you. obviously a lot, a, pleasure. a lot of interest in what you guys are working on. So we'll make, well, you guys will be regulars on the show. Have to come back. So you have to come back and talk about <laughs> We're it. We're looking forward to yeah. it. Absolutely. And as a reminder, you know where Tell Me Why lives. Lives on JetNet. Also lives on all the places where you download your favorite podcast. So please, if you're on the go, feel free to do that. And a quick note, of course, for American Airlines team members, if you have things you want to know about, learn about, hear about, we'll get the experts on this show to tell you why we do the things that we do. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you guys on the next episode of Tell Me Why.